Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang Confidence Interval Estimator for the Population Proportion. Let's begin with the approximation to normal distribution. This is by the central limit theorem. So the sampling distribution of the sample proportion will approximate a normal distribution if n is sufficiently large. It should satisfy n, which is the sample size, times the sample proportion, which is p hat, is greater than or equal to 5, and n times q hat, this is the complement of the sample proportion, should be greater than or equal to 5. For example, determine if n is equal to 25 is sufficiently large given p hat is equal to 0 0.6. So this is the sample proportion. So we have here uh, 25 times 0 0.6 is greater than or equal to 5. So 15 is greater than or equal to 5. Nasatisfy niya yung unang condition. Next, since p hat is equal to 0 0.6, the complement here is 0 0.4 which is the q hat. So 25 times 0 0.4 is 10 which is greater than or equal to 5. So, nasatisfy din niya yung second condition. So, since nasatisfy niya itong dalawang inequality na ito, therefore, n is equal to 25 is sufficiently large. So, narito yung mga important formula na ating gagamitin at saka itong table. So, we have here the margin of error is equal to z sub alpha over 2 times square root of p hat times q hat over n. So, so, kung natatandaan nyo yung lesson natin sa interval estimator of the population mean, ang nabago lang dito is itong part na ito. Okay, which is the standard error of the mean. Okay, so since proportion na pinag-uusapan natin, we have here square root of p hat times q hat over n. And then we have the interval estimate which is equal to the sample proportion. So this is the point estimate of the population proportion plus and minus the margin of error. So para, para sa antong table na ito, so this is the critical value corresponding to uh, z sub alpha over 2. Okay, so yung alpha natin is the significance level at kapag na-minus natin yung alpha natin sa 1, uh, yun ang ating confidence level. So, this is the confidence level. We have the alpha, alpha over 2, and z sub alpha over 2. Ito yung mga critical values niya. So, let's begin with the example. Construct a 95% confidence interval estimate of the population proportion with the sample proportion of 32% and the sample size of 30. So, ang dapat talaga na unang step dito is alamin natin kung ang sample ba natin na 30 is uh, sufficiently large. Okay? So, para ma-approximate niya yung normal distribution. Since yung mga given ko naman dito sa examples 1 to 5, yung uh, sample size is sufficiently large, in-skip ko na yung step na iyon. Kailangan nyo munang alamin kung ito ay sufficiently large using the formula natin kanina or using the conditions. Okay? So, again, in-skip ko na yung step kung saan i-determine kung ang sample size ay sufficiently large dahil ang mga given ko is sufficiently large naman talaga. So, Step 1, identify the given. So, dito meron tayong sample proportion. So, this is the point estimate of the population proportion which is 0 0.32. In 32%, change lang natin sa decimal. Okay? So, we have here the complement of p hat which is q hat is equal to 1 minus 0 0.32 is equal to 0 0.68. The sample size is 30 and the significance level is 0 0.05 dahil ang confidence level is 95% or 0 0.95. Next, compute the margin of error. So, we have E is equal to Z sub alpha over 2 square root of P hat of times Q hat over N is equal to yung Z sub alpha over 2. Tingnan yung confidence level natin na 95%. Ito yon 95%. Ang katumbas niya rito na critical level is 1.96 or critical value. So, 1.96 square root of 0 0.32 times 0 0.68. Ito yung P hat at saka Q hat over 30, the sample size is approximately equal to 0 0.167. Kapag kukunin natin yung uh, approximate value ng margin of error, usually ang ginagawa is 1 decimal place na mas marami siya kaysa rito sa point estimate natin. Since 2 decimal places lang siya, ang margin of error natin is at uh, should be 3 decimal places. Pero, okay lang din naman kahit Mas, mat, mas maraming decimal places siya depende sa kung ano yung uh, pinagawa ng inyong teacher. Next one, compute the interval estimate. So, given the p 
hat, the sample proportion, and the margin of error 0 0.167. So, IE is equal to 0 0.32 plus and minus 0 0.167. Ito yung P hat plus and minus E. Okay? So, is equal to 0 0.32 minus 0 0.167 and 0 0.32 plus 0 0.167 is equal to 0 0.153 comma 0 0.487. Change it to percent. 15.3% comma 48.7%. So this is the interpretation. With 95% confidence, the population proportion lies between 15.3% and 48.7%. Example number 2. In a sample of 400 students, 76% of them said that they own an Android phone. Calculate the 98% confidence interval estimate of the actual proportion of the students who own an Android phone. Step 1, identify the given. So, ang ating sample proportion here is 0 0.76 dahil ang hinahanap dito is students who own an Android phone. Okay, so ito yon P hat is 0 0.76. Q hat is the complement kaya is siya ay 1 minus 0.76 is equal to 0.24. The sample size is 400 and the significance level is 0 0.02. Okay, so dahil 98% ang ating confidence level. So next, compute the margin of error. So E is equal to Z sub alpha over 2 square root of P hat times Q hat over N is equal to. Ang critical value natin dito is 2.33 dahil 98% ang confidence level. So ang tinitingnan ko na lang dito is confidence level. Pero kung gusto nyo, pwede rin itong alpha over 2, so which is 0 0.01. So next, we have 2.33 square root of P hat is 0.76 times Q hat is 0 0.24 over 400 is approximately equal to 0 0.050 or 0 0.05. Step 3, compute the confidence interval estimate. With P hat is equal to 0.76 and margin of error is equal to 0 0.05. So, interval estimate is P hat plus and minus E. So, by substitution, 0 0.76 plus and minus 0 0.05 is equal to 0 0.76 minus 0 0.05 and 0 0.76 plus 0 0.05 is equal to 0.71 comma 0 0.81. And change to percent, 71 percent comma 81 percent. The interpretation with 98% confidence, the actual proportion of the students who own an Android phone lies between 71% and 81%. Example number 3. In a polling precinct with 525 voters, 58% voted for candidate A. Estimate the true percent of voters who did not vote for candidate A at 1% level of significance. First, identify the given. Since 58% voted for candidate A, at ang tinatanong dito na proportion is uh, voters who did not vote for candidate A, then kailangan natin i-minus yung 58% sa 100%, okay? Or yung 0 0.58 sa 1 para makuha natin ang P hat, okay? So, itong 0 0.58 is already the Q hat. Ang P hat natin is 1 minus 0 0.58 is equal to 0 0.42. So, N is equal to 525 and alpha is 0 0.01 kaya dahil meron tayong 1% level of significance. So, that means ang confidence level natin is 99%. So, next step to compute the margin of error. So, yung Z sub alpha over 2 uh, titignan natin yung 99% confidence level, we have 2.58. Square root of 0 0.42, ito yung, P hat, ito yung P hat natin, times 0 0.58, which is Q hat over 525, is approximately equal to 0 0.056. Next, step 3, compute the interval estimate given P hat is equal to 0 0.42 and margin of error 0 0.056. So, Interval estimate is equal to P hat plus and minus E. So, 0 0.42 plus and minus 0 0.056. So, meron tayong 0.42 minus 0 0.056 and 0 0.42 plus 0 0.056. So, this is equal to 0 0.364 comma 0.476. So, sa decimal, 36.4% and 47.6%. The interpretation with 99% confidence that true percent of voters who did not vote for candidate A lies between 36.4% and 47.6%. Example 4. In one month, 550 student drivers enrolled in a theoretical driving course of XYZ Driving School. After the course, 92 of them passed the assessment. 
with 95% confidence estimate the actual proportion of student drivers who pass the assessment of the driving school. So first identify the given. So x here is 92. Ito yung uh, student drivers who pass the assessment. Okay, so N is 150 and the significance level is 0 0.05 dahil may 95% uh, confidence level tayo rito. So, step 2, compute the sample proportion and its complement. Kasi wala pa tayong given dito na uh, sample and the sample proportion and the complement. So, P hat is equal to X over N is equal to 92 over 150 is approximately equal to 0 0.61. And then the complement, 1 minus 0 0.61 is 0 0.39. Step 3, compute the margin of error. We have here P hat 0.61, Q hat 0.39, and N is equal to 150. So, Z sub alpha over 2 ay 1.96. Okay, so dahil 95% ang confidence level natin. So, 1.96 square root of 0.61 P hat, Q hat is 0.39 over 150 is approximately equal to 0.078. Step 4, compute the interval estimate. P hat is 0 0.61 and the margin of error 0 0.078. So, IE is equal to P hat plus N minus E is equal to 0 0.61 plus N minus 0 0.078. So, 0 0.61 minus 0 0.078 comma 0 0.61 plus 0 0.078 is equal to 0 0.532 comma 0 0.688. So, sa percent, 53.2% and 68.8%. So, the interpretation with 95% confidence, the actual proportion of student drivers who pass the assessment lies between 53.2% and 68.8%. For the last example, we have the same problem. Kaso ang tinatanong naman dito is with 99% confidence, estimate the actual proportion of student drivers who did not pass the assessment of the driving school. So kanina sa example 4 is the, uh, the proportion of students who pass the assessment. So step 1, identify the given. X is 150 minus 92 is equal to 58. So bakit na minus natin yung 92? Dahil 92 is the number of uh, student drivers who passed the assessment. So, ang tinatanong is, those who did not pass, kaya x is equal to 58. Nag-minus tayo rito. So, n is equal to 150, alpha is 0 0.01, kasi 99% ang confidence level. Next, compute the sample proportion and its complement. p hat is equal to x over n is equal to 58 over 150, which is approximately equal to 0 0.39, and then q hat is 0 0.61. So, next, compute the margin of error. So, 2.58, ito yung 99% confidence natin. So, this is Z sub alpha over 2, 2.58. So, square root of 0.39 times 0.61 over 150 is approximately equal to 0 0.103. Next, step 4, compute the interval estimate. P hat here is 0 0.39. Kanina is 0 0.61 kasi ang tinatanong doon is yung mga nakapasa. Ngayon, yung mga hindi nakapasa, kaya 0 0.39, the margin of error is 0 0.103, so IE is equal to P hat plus N minus E, so 0 0.39 plus N minus 0 0.103, so 0 0.39 minus 0 0.103, comma 0 0.39 plus 0 0.103, so we have 0 0.287, comma 0 0.493. So, sa percent, 28.7% and 49.3%. So, for interpretation, with 99% confidence, the actual proportion of student drivers who did not pass the assessment lies between 28.7% and 49.3%. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and have a nice day.